Hey, Peter Witchers here from Jackson Guitars. We're here at NAMM 2017 with <coughs> Guitar World. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of our new stuff here. Uh, what we've got right here to my left is uh, our newest, uh, one of our newest additions for our artist, uh, Mick Thompson. And we're very excited to be releasing a limited edition uh, custom shop guitar for, uh, for Mick here. Uh, this is this guitar that you're looking at right here is a limited edition, 14 pieces, uh, all hand built by Mike Shannon, uh, out of our custom shop here in uh, in Corona. Uh, this guitar is a uh, is a guitar that's an exact replica of what Mick actually plays live. Uh, some of the features uh, are it's a it, it has a three piece neck and it's got mahogany wings. It comes equipped with uh, his Seymour Duncan signature pickups. Uh, it, uh, it also uh, has a Floyd Rose bridge, which is not a tremolo, it's actually a fixed bridge, but that's something that I believe Mick is going to talk more about in the future. Uh, this guitar also comes with a, a the mono strap, which he plays live, a signed certificate. Uh, it's going to come with a slipknot tour laminate and two picks. And uh, we're very excited uh, to welcome Mick Thompson to our uh, family here at Jackson. Uh, we are over here. We've, we've done a lot of stuff for uh, our artist roster here this year. And I'm going to walk you through the wall here of what we've done. So to my right, we uh, have a brand new um, Phil Collin refresh for the PC-1. Uh, this guitar now, uh, actually we changed all the finishes for these guitars to a satin finish, which was per request. He likes to have a shot with a very, very thin coat of paint so that he could get more of that uh, wood tone through these guitars. Uh, a couple of things we've done with these, I'm just gonna grab this one for example. Um, we, have, we have six variants on the, uh, on the trans finishes. The only two that are not being displayed here is, this, is the uh, trans black and the trans red. But what I've got here is the trans green. A uh, couple of things here, we, we still have the Floyd Rose original, the German made one, but this one is also a satin gold. We, we decided to go with an all satin gold per uh, Phil's request. Uh, another thing that we added now, which is a very welcome addition for his tech apparently, is the, um, the thumb wheel. Makes life much easier when you're on the road. And uh, as if that wasn't enough, we, we decided to, uh, to use a baked maple neck with a baked uh, flame uh, fingerboard. He also wanted to add uh, Lumile side, that's which is getting increasingly popular with almost most of the pro uh, products that we do. Uh, other than that, uh, same specs for pickups, uh, the DiMarzios and Sustainier, Sustainiac for this one as well. Uh, this one uses a baked uh, mahogany body and that, that will be the same for all of them. The, there's two finishes for the, that are in solid colors. This one over here is the uh, the matte blue frost, and we also have a satin gray. Those will be uh, those will also be uh, solid mahogany bodies without the without the maple maple top, and they will have an accent of uh, the black hardware. Um, going over here, uh, we have the uh, the Marty Friedman. We're very excited that, to have uh, Marty Freeman back with Jackson. Um, when he first initially came on board, we built a couple of different samples, and he was looking for something that looked like a um, like a futuristic uh, s single cut uh, piece. So he was ex very excited when we developed this one. We have we have two different variants here. This is the USA model, and we have the an, an import version here as well with two different price points. So some of the differences, uh, if you're looking at these two, they look very similar, but you're gonna have accents such as the, the bone nut uh, and the hardware is gonna be the main difference here. Other than that, most of the materials are the same. Uh, this is a mahogany body with a, with a maple, thick maple top. Uh, it's got a flat radius, a 12-inch radius, a rosewood fingerboard, uh, 22 frets, uh, with a 24 and 3 quarter scale uh, length on this one. On the back, uh, what we did is we accented a little bit here because he, he needs to, as we know, he plays a lot on you know high up here. So we carved out the back of this one here as well to give him better upper fret access. Uh, this one also comes equipped with his his new signature EMG MF pickups. And 
Next to, uh, to Marty, the man who needs no introduction for Jackson, we launched Misha Mansour's USA model last year, which has been a huge success. And we've been working closely with Misha throughout the year since then to uh, launch for you guys an import version of his Juggernaut model. So this one comes in four different variants. We have two seven strings, which are both trans colors. One is the Ocean Burst, and the other one is the Charcoal Burst. Uh, these, uh, these come with a 16-inch flat radius, ebony fingerboard, offset dots, uh, illuminating side dots. It's got the, uh, the AT1 headstock, which is the same as this USA. Um, similar specs on the six string as well. We have a satin white and a satin gunmetal gray. A uh, couple of things on this guitar. Uh, as you see, it shares the cis, got the same sculpted heel, the handshake heels as he refers to it. Bodies are basswood. Um, the other thing, we did a hardtail, which is going to be retrofitable if someone wants to use, let's say, more expensive components. The pickups are, um, are Jackson design pickups that we actually voiced together with Misha to, uh, to his liking. Uh, the same with these. These pickups sound really good, and it, Misha talks about this guitar in his, uh, in his promo video for these guitars. But should you want to switch to, let's say, something that he plays on another model, these, that's also retrofitable. Um, other than that, same thing. You get the push-pull tone activated knob. And uh, one thing that's different in this one as well is that we, Misha decided that he wanted to do this guitar without uh, neck and headstock binding. One of the reasons for that is that I think he played one of our other guitars in a, in a different brand that didn't have binding, so we, we actually rolled the edges. And so when, you, when, uh, when he felt that, I, f I, f I think we really convinced him and he really wanted to do a model that had the rolled edges because you know, the neck just feels like butter. So that's what we got from Misha. We're very excited about it. Oh, another note that's really important to mention is that Misha is so in love with these import models that he's actually bringing them with him on tour and he's going to be playing them on tour. So next to this one, another, another big grab for Jackson and we're very, very excited to, uh, to announce that Gus G has decided to come on board the Jackson family. Uh, we've honored this by offering uh, his, guitar, his uh, guitar in um, three different price points. Uh, first of all, we're going to have the, uh, the flagship model, which is the USA model. Uh, this guitar comes in, tr in two different finishes, but in four different options. Uh, the other two options, which are not shown here, will look identical to this, but they will not have the Gus G logo on the 12th fret. Uh, a couple cool things about this guitar. Uh, it's also a 12-inch 12, 12 flat radius rosewood fingerboard. Um, as you can see, this one actually has a bevel. On, on the body, and which we've accented with a really cool pinstripe around the body. And this one also has a, um, a painted masked off body binding. Uh, this guitar comes equipped with the Tone Pros bridge, anchor tailpiece, and his signature Seymour Duncan blackout pickups. Um, the neck is a quarter sawn, you know, rock hard maple as usual, and an alder body. The, uh, that's the USA, and so for the X-Series model, it's a neck-through model, very similar to this one. Main difference is you're going to have the, uh, the classic Jackson um, <coughs> inlay, the, the shark fin inlay. And basically, this one also comes equipped with his, uh, his signature uh, Duncan pickups. Um, this, this guitar, uh, let me see here as well. As you see, the difference of this one is it, it, it has a, um, the phenolic, you know, nut as opposed to a, a bone nut on this one as well. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have a JS uh, offering of his model as well, which is the, the entry level for Jackson. Uh, still a kick-ass guitar. And um, this guitar, main differences are, uh, other than price point, is the fact that it is a bolt-on guitar, but you still have really, really good upper fret axis on this guitar. Uh, difference in this one, and this is a 12, this one has a 12 to 16 inch compound radius as opposed to a 12 for these, and that was, uh, that was intentional to make this different than the other models. So that's what we got for the artist models, and go check it out. We also wanted to say that we've got a lot of upgrades done, for, uh, for especially for Pro Series. We've done some new finishes for our uh, soloists. We've also made additions to our, um, our Rhodes models and our K uh, KVTs. Uh, 
In addition to that, we, uh, for the X-Series, we we've done a bunch of different finish upgrades, as well as a couple new models. And uh, for JS, you know, we've done a, done a major up overhaul on, uh, on all of our finishes as well. So uh, go check it out.